13C also has a new feature that addresses the issue of management of similar systems at scale. Many customers now have hundreds if not thousands of components in their data center and clouds and they have trouble managing them consistently. Enterprise Manager 13C has a new feature called Drift and Consistency Management which directly address the issue of managing consistency at scale. In short there are two types of consistency management that you can do inter-target consistency monitoring and intra-target consistency monitoring. In short inter-target consistency monitoring or here shown as drifted targets is the comparison uh, on an ongoing basis at scale between a very large number of similar targets of the same target type. Consistency management is a simple way to ask Enterprise Manager to leverage the target model it has for things like composite targets, database machines, composite applications, cluster databases, and ask it to compare targets of a similar type within that type of container. For this demonstration, we'll just focus on these drifted targets or inter-target comparisons. I'm going to click on this 45 to drill in and see a little bit more detail about what these 45 targets are that have been drifted or have drifted. As I grill into the results here I get a further breakdown of the types of targets that are being monitored for drift and as you can see it, it, it applies or you can use this for simple targets like database instances and host as well as system or composite targets. Uh, things like you can you can use this to ma manage the consistency of applications throughout their life cycle so you can compare the dev staging QA can production environments of a very complex application and ensure that the configuration of those applications that you require throughout those lifecycle environments is the same. Let's drill a little bit further into this ICE, uh, fictitious ICE application here to see which uh, that there is one target, uh, one uh, application uh, lifecycle environment that has a drift in it and two others that are uh, not drifted or consistent in this case. So drilling a little bit further, you can see I get a little bit further detail in the results. I can see that one, uh, it's actually the QA uh, life or application uh, that is has has one uh, drift or one inconsistency in its uh, configuration, and the two others, the staging and the development environment, are the same. So uh, just for illustration purposes, let me show you something here. Let me just turn on the entire. Uh, stack as well as the all of the uh, four lifecycle environments. So you can see that for the first time now in Enterprise Manager we're showing results of configuration comparisons side by side. Uh, regardless of the number of targets that you're comparing now in Enterprise Manager 13C, you can see them uh, from left to right side by side. And then you can also see that here I have the entire stack modeled for this composite application consisting of host, database, listener, web logic, etc. And you can see that the one target, the one component of this application in the QA environment that is drifted is the database. So let's drill in a little bit further to take a look and see what those the difference actually is. And with one click here I can actually see that the actual difference is the fact that the initialization parameter job queue processes is set to a thousand in the reference which was my production environment and is actually 900 in the test environment or this QA environment. Now of course detecting these inconsistencies across large number of targets in your cloud is an important first step but it is the only only the first step in the process the next step will actually be to remediate any detected differences and for initialization parameters you can actually remediate directly from within the application by clicking on this synchronize button right here and it will actually synchronize the reference value uh, the value from the reference target to the uh, target here on the right hand side that's not equal uh, with a with a simple click of a button and following a few steps in the wizard probably one of the most challenging and common inconsistency across a large environment like a cloud is with regards to patching. So of course Enterprise Manager has long had the ability to help you 
apply patches in an automated way to applications like the database and web logic server. But in Enterprise Manager 13C, you can now apply the full quarterly or the quarterly full stack downloadable patch to the entire Exa database machine as well. Navigating under the database machine homepage menu, you'll see a new software update menu item. Here you'll see everything you need uh, to know about the current status of the applied patches as well as recommended patches to be applied and the status of the patch application as it's being applied to the different components of the database machine like the database server, storage server, and InfiniBand switches. So let's start at the top here. First you can see that uh, just like with the database and web logic and other targets that are currently supported in Enterprise Manager. Enterprise Manager will offer recommendations as they become available up on uh, the Oracle website and recommend the latest QS or QFSDP patch uh, for application until that patch has been completely applied. In addition, you can see the status of the ExaCheck, which is now uh, properly modeled as a compliant standard in Enterprise Manager 13C and runs on a daily basis. And you can see the last time that that was run, uh, which you can click on to go see the results of from here as well. On the right hand side, you can see a quick status here saying that, uh, you know, there are seven targets in total in this database machine and seven of them uh, still need to to have an update applied uh, and as I apply the update or this uh, patch across uh, the different components that number will decrease till eventually uh, reaches uh, uh, zero uh, and uh, so let's see here at the bottom here let me just click on the storage servers uh, you can see uh, by simply selecting one of the the storage cells here uh, gives me the ability to then select uh, a QSF a QFSDP uh, out of them uh, just like you would when you were uh, building a patch plan for a database or web logic server in 12C and previous versions of Enterprise Manager. So let me click select you can see all the information that comes down from my Oracle support about the patch as well and my next step would then to be go ahead just like in the previous version of patches and analyze and then deploy the patch and I could even roll the patch back uh, if I wanted to as well. So bottom line is that you can now apply in an automated fashion the entire uh, stack or quarterly full stack downloadable patch as it's called uh, for the database machine in 13C as well to help you remediate any inconsistencies in your environment.